guys, so I figured since I was running around the house uh, kind of like a crazy person unpacking and getting things decorated and uh, organizing rooms and put, putting up pictures and all that crazy stuff that comes with PCSing that I would film kind of a vlog. I wanted to show you just as how I organize personally and maybe you guys can get some tips and tricks on how you can do that yourself. I find myself jam packing my car full of stuff that I find important because I don't trust the movers. This last move that we did, actually we found a lot of broken things so I'm super glad that I uh, brought a lot of really important things with me in my car. Uh, we spent two months basically PCSing. We got here in the Midwest round about I would say the 10th of April and we didn't get into a house until six days ago. So uh, we spent about two months in limbo uh, wondering if we were going to get a house or not. Anyway, that's aside from the point. The point is is that I packed a lot of stuff myself to move with us. So we did like a partial ditty move, which is for you new people, a do-it-yourself move. I'm just in my master bathroom right now. I'm going to show you some of the organizing techniques that I used myself during this particular move. We've moved six times in seven years. So, so we're just in my master bathroom right here. I pack, I, I obviously move my own uh, nail polish. As far as I remember, I should know this by now, you cannot, uh, they will not move liquids. Um, and they may mo move liquids that are sealed up, but not liquids that have been opened. So obviously you have to move your own nail polish. And so I just have just this sterile, the brand is Sterile Light. I think you just get it like Walmart or Target. Um, they have all different types of options. I just pack all of my nail polishes in here. Um, I make sure that obviously they're not upside down or, or tilted sideways. And I just close them up and I, I throw that in my car. So that's just something that and I- For like uh, children's medicine and you know lotion, I'm trying to think, perfume. Stuff like this, obviously, that they will not pack. Um, I put in here, like I've got all of my Mary Kay stuff, you know, Trimenic. Um, I just put in uh, containers like this, and I put those in my car, obviously, as well. And I always try to make sure that I don't pack the perfume right next to the other perfume, that I make sure there's plastic in between, obviously, so they don't break. Hello. And if I pack, you know, product that is in a packaging like this, that I make sure that it's packaged upside down, that the top obviously is closed securely, and that I place a piece of tape over the top. And this obviously just makes sure, you know, make sure that it ships correctly in my car. You never know how it's gonna shift in your car. Anyway, so those are two really important things. You know, they're easy to access if I throw them in my car. If there's taller items like shampoo, and tall bottles of lotion, etc. Uh, what I do is I put them in these tall containers like this, which as you can see are probably about twice as tall as those. Um, and inside here I have product that is really tall, you know, like it's a fairly tall bottle. You know, I can just set it in here. It uh, ships rather well. Obviously you wanna make sure that it's you know, like this is upside down, like I told you, and it wedges really nice in between bottles. And you can actually fit quite a bit of stuff in there. Big Sexy is usually really tall. It fits in here really well. I mean, even the tall bottles of Big Sexy fits in here too. So this is a great way to store your stuff. This container will fit behind your back seat. When I purchase makeup, I always keep the packaging like this comes off. You know, I always keep the packaging because, you know, obviously it ships better. So, you know, like here I have the Naked palette. I always make sure that I keep the plastic packaging just because I move so frequently and it just, it just moves better. So that's just a tip for, you know, you makeup lovers in the military. For my birthday this year, my little sister knew that I was moving soon and she bought me this gift pack at Walmart that came with a makeup bag this little bag like this, this big clear bag, and then it also came 
with this bag as well. So it was like this pack to travel with. And I thought it was awesome. This is definitely something that you should have. Um, in this, I just have like, you know, face lotion. I have primer, just some gel for my kid's hair. You know, little uh, travel size shampoos. You know, some more Mary Kay stuff. If you couldn't tell, I'm kind of a fan. You know, little uh, travel size type stuff. I've got ring cleaner in here some more um, medicine and stuff like that. So this worked perfectly for that. And this obviously I, I have just my everyday makeup in it. So that uh, carried really well. In this I used, it's not in there now because I put away all my jewelry, but um, I was able to put inside a bunch of pairs of earrings, a couple of necklaces, some rings. So this just kind of kept that handy. Obviously when you're putting on your makeup, fixing your hair or whatever you do every day, uh, part of that, at least for me, is putting on earrings and such. So it just seemed to make sense that it would be in here. So that's what I did with that. Um, and this right here carries, like this for instance, I've got this big huge, uh, you know, elf makeup uh, eyeshadow palette that I was able to just slip right inside of here. And then of course all of my favorite makeup that I would use during the, you know, at the time I thought would only be a couple of weeks, ended up being a couple of months, I could hold all of my makeup in here. So it was just really convenient. It's clear, so you don't have to dig into it to find what you need. Uh, it was very convenient, and of course all of these fit, you know, like a glove when you put it inside. Very convenient, awesome, I loved it, great to have. Uh, for extra stuff like um, hair clips and stuff, I've got like these little filing uh, compartments for, you know, like hair clips and bobby pins. You know, this just kind of helps it so I'm not searching, you know, for 15 minutes to try to find a bobby pin or whatever. Um, also, for makeup brushes, uh, I think you can purchase these online. I think sometimes they have them at stores. But this is my brush kit that I purchased from eyeslipsface.com. Uh, this is their studio line. This is regularly 30 bucks. I bought it for $15 because they were having a 50% off sale. They have sales a lot on eyeslipsface.com so if you go there and you want to buy some really cheap but good quality brushes that's where I would go. Anyway, but it came with like this travel bag which I found to be awesome while, while traveling. So it comes with basically every brush you could possibly need. Obviously I put in a couple of extra brushes that I had that I needed space for, so this came in handy while traveling. I, I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I do because I've done this a lot and I know that some of this stuff may seem kind of maybe even like common sense but I know that when I watch videos like this it kind of gives me some ideas of what I can do for the next time I move. I know that these couple of things that I've done that I've learned over the past six moves uh, have been things that I've done that have helped out tremendously so I just wanted to share those with you and like you know the makeup beauty I figured it was legit since it kind of had a little bit to do with makeup and beauty. I think be sure to leave a comment below so that I know that you learned something and if you have a request for a video in the future, uh, be sure to leave a comment below. We'll see you later. Bye.